the halogens, column 17 of the periodic table. Each element with their own unique personality. Chlorine, a gas. Bromine, a red liquid. Iodine, a metallic solid. Let's take a look at each of them. The name comes from the Greek word chloros, meaning green-yellow. Chlorine gas was the first lethal chemical weapon used in World War I. It was cheap, simple to produce, and extremely deadly. In addition to blinding soldiers, it also reacted with the water in the lungs, forming hydrochloric acid. A simple gas mask with an activated carbon filter could prevent the effects of the gas. The Greek word bromos is the root of the name bromine. This red, volatile, and toxic liquid fumes a brown gas. It is one of two elements that are liquid under standard conditions. Being a liquid, its reaction with the metals was exceptionally violent. Looks like bromine is one mean bro. It should be no surprise that iodine comes from the Greek word iodai, meaning violet. This metallic solid sublimates to give an immense cloud of purple vapor. Iodine is also used as a disinfectant. You may know of it as tincture of iodine, right? He knows. Halogen comes from the Greek words hal, meaning salt, and gin to produce. They form compounds called salts, the most famous, of course, being... Salt! Sodium chloride. And that's exactly what each of these reactions were. They were redox reactions, in which elemental sodium gave up an electron and each halogen accepted an electron, making the atoms ions and giving them each eight valence electrons. This was Chemistry in Context, and until next time, as always, stay safe. Just like bro, mean, mean, bro. I, yeah, I, I, mean, I, like a mean, listen, like a bro. Joe, I, I understand. Yeah. And it's funny. It's just not the place. Yeah. This is an educational video. Okay. I'll see you next week. Next time 
on chemistry in context. Um, yeah. I'm just really worried about the GoPro. There were acidic, flamey things directly hitting 